everyone and welcome to Worship Together. It's great to see you today and thank you for joining us as we explore more of God's big story. So let's begin our worship with a big shout out of praise. Are you ready to respond? God is love all the time. Amen. So because I have shouted out God is love, that gives you a little bit of a clue as to what today's story is going to include. Something about how God is love and loves us and something about how we should love one another. Let's find out where on the timeline our story comes today in God's big story. Oh look, our story is in the New Testament and it's in the section called the Kingdom of God. So that means it comes after Jesus has ascended back into heaven and after Pentecost and as the first Christians were spreading the good news of Jesus. Mark is our storyteller today. Thanks Lisa. Hello everyone. This story is called Tabitha Wakes Up. Tabitha sighs. Look at all those poor people she says to herself as she walks through the streets of Joppa. So Tabitha tries. She tries to do something to help them. It's what Jesus would have done, she says to herself, as she mends their claws and makes them new ones. Then Tabitha dies. It happens suddenly and the news races all through the town, up and down the busy streets. And everyone cries. They lay her body in an upstairs room and the people she had helped crowd into the room. They all weep over her and show each other the beautiful things she made for them. And that's when Peter arrives. He's one of Jesus' friends. He's been staying in a town nearby. And when the people of Joppa hear, they go to fetch him, hoping that there is something he could do. So Peter tries. He tries to do something to help. It's what Jesus would have done, he says to himself, as he remembers the time that Jesus brought a dead girl back to life. Tabitha, arise, he says, just like Jesus said to the little girl. And what a surprise. Tabitha wakes up and gets up and goes to greet her friends. And everyone cries, cries all over again. But this time they are tears of joy and tears of gratitude too, because their friend is alive again. Thanks, Mark. I wonder if that was a new story for some of you. It's not a story that we often tell because we often use the stories about Jesus' miracles. And so it's good to hear a different one. So you might want to tell everybody at home. I heard a new story today from the Bible. Do you know? And here's Archdeacon David to tell us more about that story. Thanks, Lisa. That's great. Thank you so much for letting us hear that story. Archdeacon David here. Hope you're having a really great day wherever you are. It's so good to be with you again. And we've just heard that story about a very special person called Tabitha, who was the sort of woman who would do anything she could to help people because she knew something really special about knowing Jesus. And also about Peter, who helped her in a very special way, didn't he? who was also, of course, a great friend of Jesus. People loved Tabitha, so when she died, they were so upset. But they knew, they knew that because Peter was so close to Jesus, they knew something special yet could happen. So they said to Peter, you need to know Tabitha's died. We need the help that you can bring in the name of Jesus. So Peter, came along and in those days when somebody died loads of folks were actually it seems a bit odd to us but they were paid to stand outside and to wail and to moan because somebody had died they were actually paid to do that not because they were sad but because that's the job they did 
and Peter didn't want any of that so he got rid of them and he remembered what his friend Jesus had done once for a little girl when he'd done the same thing and he got rid of everybody and then Peter went in and he prayed with Tabitha and in the name of Jesus he asked her to come back to life and the most fantastic thing happened when she did didn't it and that's a reminder to us of how important it is for each and every one of us to stay close to Jesus. But it's also so important that we know that Jesus's name is so powerful. Using the name of Jesus can achieve all sorts of remarkable things. And because Peter used the name of Jesus, even when somebody has died, he could bring them back to life. What a wonderful story, what an encouragement to us. So never forget how important it is to call on the name of Jesus when you need him to help you. Thanks Archdeacon David. Now it's time to pray together. I'm sure that you remember right at the very beginning I shouted, God is love. And God's love for us is just Oh, mind-blowingly massive. We can't even imagine how big it is. And the Bible tells us, tells us that over and over again. And Tabitha loved the people around her. She showed that love, God's love, in her actions. And so as we pray together, close your eyes and think about all the people around you that love you and there's all different kinds of love love from the people that we uh, live with at home in our families love with our friends and love with each other at school but the way that we show that love is through our actions just as Tabitha did. So today we pray, Lord Jesus, that we have the courage to love one another just as you love us. Amen. So enjoy today and I'll see you next time. Bye.